Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's talk about angle measure. It indicates the size of the angle. So, what does it mean? How do we measure angles? Well, we use degrees for that, so angles are measured in degrees, and if we have a full circle, that full circle equals 360 degrees. Now, it turns out that sometimes we want to be able to measure very tiny angles, angles that are smaller than one degree, and so we subdivide degrees into minutes, and there are 60 minutes in one degree, and then maybe we want to go to very tiny angles, so then each minute is then divided into 60 seconds. So, so there are 60 seconds in one minute, 60 minutes in one degree. So when we multiply 60 times 60, that means there are 3,600 seconds of arc, as we call it sometimes, in one degree measure. All right, how do we indicate that mathematically in geometry? Well, we can write that the measure of an angle, and here's an indication of the angle AOB when we go over here, we have an angle from A to O to B, and so we can measure that angle. One way to measure the angle would be what we call a protractor. A protractor is typically made out of uh, clear plastic. We have numbers on there. The numbers indicate degrees. We put the bottom of the protractor on one of the rays of the angle, and then we look and see where the ray of the other ray, the other side of the angle, goes to the protractor, and then we can see that this is zero degrees, that's 65 degrees, so therefore the span here is 65 degrees, so we can say that the measure of the angle AOB is 65 degrees, or we can also say that the angle AOB is an angle of 65 degrees. Now, you can see we don't have a degree symbol here when we talk about the measure of an angle, but I like to just simply add degrees so that we're more clear about that. It's not required, but I prefer to say it. So the measure of AOB is 65, or we can say the measure of AOB is 65 degrees. Now, let's say here that we have an angle that is measured to be 24 degrees and 36 minutes. What if we want to just simply write that in degrees alone? So what fraction of a degree is that? Because remember, there's 60 minutes in a degree, so if we want to convert that to a fraction, how do we do that? Well, we do it by ratio. We can say that 36 over 60, that would be the, the ratio of the number of minutes in one degree, is equal to what over 100? So that's how we convert from a fraction into a decimal. So what we can then do is we can simply multiply this times 100 and divide by 60 to get the number that we're looking for. So we say that 36 times 100 divided by 60 is equal to what we're looking for, and that would be 3600 divided by 60 is equal to a question mark. So that's, of course, equal to 60 or 61 hundredths. So therefore, we can say that this can now be written as 24.6 over 6 degrees because 0.6 is the same as 61 hundredths of a degree and that's how we convert from this format where we talk about degrees and minutes into degrees and fractions of a degree. So 36 out of 60 is the same as 60 out of 100 which is 0.6 of a degree. Sometimes we're asked to find an angle, let's say we want to know the measure of angle 2 we're given the measure of angle one, and we're given the total measure from the one side of angle one to the other side of angle two. So then obviously, the measure of angle two would be this number right here, minus that number, but here again, we have it in terms of degrees and minutes, so how do we subtract one from the other, especially when we're subtracting 52 minutes from eight minutes? How is that done? So what we want to do is we want to find the measure of angle two, so therefore the measure of angle two is equal to the full measure of 82 degrees and 8 minutes minus angle 1 here, which is 43 degrees and 52 minutes. And now notice, of course, the 52 is bigger than 8, so how do you subtract 52 minutes from 8 minutes? What you're going to do is you're going to borrow 1 degree from here and convert it to minutes. So that means we're going to write this as 81 degrees, and of course 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes, is what we have over here. And so therefore we can write this as 68 minutes minus 43 degrees and 52 minutes. So now you can see we can subtract 52 from 68, 8 minus 2 that would be 6, 6 minus 5 which is 1, so we have 16 minutes. And then we can subtract 43 degrees from 81 degrees, so we borrow 1 from here, that's 11 minus 3 which is 8, and that becomes a 7 minus 4 which is 3, so this becomes 38 degrees and 16 minutes which is the measure of angle 2. And that's the easy way to, do, to subtract one angle from the other, especially if the minutes are bigger than the one you're subtracting it from. So that's 
the trick that we use to do that. So now I have some sort of idea of how we use angle measure in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds, and that's how we measure angles in geometry.